This week's report is coming to you from Jay Peak, Vermont, where a major backlash snow event is busy restoring packed powder. There's a ton new at Jay Peak this year. The Tram House Lodge, a hundred new snow guns to help Jay hit their typical late April close, an NHL-sized skating rink, and a full Nordic Center. Jay has always had the snow, but now there's much, much more. Snowmakers will continue to make gains as we move into the weekend and the trail counts will be on the rise nearby at Maple Ski Ridge, Royal Mountain and Willard Mountain where a foot fell on Monday night. Catamount and Butternut have bounced back nicely this week as has Jiminy Peak and they have a demo day set for Sunday. The snowmakers and groomers have been hustling around the clock this week at Wyndham, Hunter and Greek Peak. The mountain crews have done a tremendous job of rehabbing the surfaces at Gore and at Whiteface and West Mountain is opening on Saturday. Mount Snow, Killington, and Stowe in Vermont all have very powerful snowmaking systems and they've been maxed out since Tuesday. Light snow has fallen much of this week at Owl's Head and at Mount Sutton in the eastern townships of Quebec and surfaces have been softening up. Out west, Sun Valley and Jackson Hole have both had a snowy week and some late week snow will help out at Telluride in southwest Colorado. It's also been a snowy week at Brighton, Snowbird, and Park City and packed powder rules in the Wasatch Range of Utah. The east could use a sizable snowstorm and there's some potential for that late this weekend. I'm Herb Stevens, a skiing weatherman.